insect life cycles. The grasshopper. Grasshoppers are among our most common insects. There are over 600 kinds in North America. What features help you to identify a grasshopper? How does how do this grasshopper's shape and color suit it for living in grassy fields? Roadsides and dry open fields are good places to hunt for grasshoppers in early fall. A, ter- a terrarium with a screen top is a good place in which to keep several grasshoppers. It is easy to make a terrarium with a cake tin, glass, adhesive tape, and plaster of Paris, as shown in the next picture. Be sure to use a screen top. Cut a piece of grass sod about two inches thick to fit in the terrarium. Sprinkle the sod twice a week. If you can't make a terrarium, use a very large glass jar. How to make a terrarium? In the terrarium, watch a grasshopper jump. Why does it raise its hind legs before it jumps? Take a close look at the grasshopper's head. Using a magnifying glass, what parts can you identify? In your terrarium, you may be able to see how a grasshopper's life story begins. Let's watch the life story of a short horned grasshopper. In the fall, the female pushes the end of her body about one inch down into the ground. There she lays her eggs. Here the soil has been cut away and the female removed so that we can see some of the eggs. When she has finished laying her eggs, she fills the hole with a foamy protective substance. Fall comes and then winter. The adults die, but the eggs remain safe underground. Not all kinds of grasshoppers lay their eggs in the ground. Some deposit them in leaves and in twigs. Some kinds of grasshoppers do not die when winter comes. They hide safely under logs and other objects and lay their eggs when spring arrives. When spring returns, the eggs of the short horned grasshoppers are still in the ground. In May or June, the eggs hatch in the warm soil, and the baby grasshoppers dig their way out. Notice that when this insect hatches, it is already a grasshopper. How is it like the adult? Young grasshoppers are called nymphs. You have just seen the grasshopper in its first nymph stage. The nymph grows so quickly that in about a week it has outgrown its hard coat. Its coat splits open and a bigger second nymph crawls out and waits for its coat to become hard and dry. How is the second stage different from the first? How can you tell it from an adult? After shedding its skin a second time, it is in the third nymph stage. Again, the young grasshopper molts. Is there any signs of its wings in the fourth nymph stage? After molting again, it is in the fifth nymph stage. How do you know that is not yet an adult? The nymph sheds its skin for the fifth and last time. Watch how the adult crawls out. The grasshopper is now an adult. It holds onto a plant until its skin and four wings harden. In less than an hour, the adult grasshopper is dry and ready to hop or fly about. From the time it hatches, it takes about 30 to 50 days to grow through through its nymph stages. Can you recall the grasshopper's whole life story? How did it begin its life? What are the stages before it became an adult? Check your answers with the next picture. Compare these two life stories. The end.